One, go. Yes, hello. I will show you now the new Arcus with Universalis. Univer it's a very universal camera, which means this is the base of the three models we produce. The first model is aimed at 35mm clients using 35mm cameras like the Sony A7 or A7R, Nikon D800, Canon 5D, whatever. So the idea here is that we have a front frame with draw-free tilt as well as a swing in the axis of the lens. So this remains correct for all three cameras we have. This is now 35 mm. The same model exists for medium format for using digital medium format packs or, digital, uh, or medium format roll film back as well as 4x5 inch. The weight of this camera is only 1.2 kilo in the DSLR version, 1.6 kilo in the medium format version and 1.9 kilo in the 4x5 inch version. Now I'll mount the camera quickly here on a quick set device. In front of the camera you can use basically all lenses. This is now an older Hasselblad lens or size Lena lenses with Pentacon mount. Basically all lenses which have a manual aperture control. I'll put that now in front of the camera. And we'll attach the bellows for DSLR type bodies. This is a sample of a mirrorless camera where we have an L bracket mounted which you can attach to the bellows here and then turn it from vertical to horizontal. I put the camera on and lock it. Now the camera has on the side, in front, in the front and at the rear, uh, height compensation. So if you use a small Sony 7R or an 810, there's quite a big difference in height. So that's why you have two geared movements for height compensation so that you can use all those formats. On top of that, you have at the back lateral movements as well as the vertical movement I showed, which means the lens does stay stable and we're with the body, the SLR or mirrorless body, we're only scanning the image circle of the lens. So we have a perfect stitch panoramics or we can do for example two images in vertical and put them together and this way we can easily double the resolution or get a more wide angle field of view. Now, now Martin, uh, the, as far as the cameras, um, how many types of adapters do you have available right now? Currently we have available Nikon, Canon, Sony E-mount, but up on request we can basically make any adapter available for, can be Fuji, can be Leica M for example for LEM or even for Leica S2. So that's just a question of the bayonet and as I showed you here on this, this is a relatively small part, we just have to adapt to have to correct bayonet. Mm -hmm. And then we can virtually attach any camera which makes sense. Right. Would you have a attachment for a micro four third at this point in time? We can do, as I say, it's basically ah. just a question of the bayonet which mm -hmm. we put onto this. But it, it's a pretty simple task, no rocket science. So if there is demand, we can do that within a couple of days, no problem at all. All right, okay. On behalf of Club Step in Singapore, I'd like to thank you very much for this wonderful introduction. Thank, thank you, you, Martin. Thank you very much. Thank you for your visit. You're very welcome. Yeah.